Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna talk all about hierarchies in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, hierarchy. So Adam and I were chatting. He was like, oh man, I've been getting some interesting questions about hierarchies. We should do a video. I was like, I'm doing it. I wanna do a video on hierarchies. We've never done one. It's pretty cool. All right, so before I jump into this, what's a hierarchy? A hierarchy is like an organizational structure, right? But it's not just, you, you may be thinking, oh, I know what you're talking about, Patrick. CEO, vice president, manager, direct employees. Yeah, that's one. But also there's different types of hierarchies. There's like for a date hierarchy, for a year, quarter, month, day. And then like for products, you may have product category, subcategory, and product. So in Power BI, you can create these. They have some you can create. I like to call those explicit hierarchies. And they also have the implicit ones that they automatically add for dates. And we're gonna talk about all those, all right? Instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do. Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so I have this model here in Power BI in the desktop that I've created. And I have this table, reseller sales, and you can see there's a little date, like a little calendar right there. If you expand it out, there's a date hierarchy that they already built. So by default, when you have a date in a table, Power BI automatically adds an implicit measure for you. And it's, it's rolled up year, quarter, month, day, okay? You can go in the report settings and turn them off. Um, or you can use them if you want to. If I have my own date table, I like to turn them off. And actually, if you create a relationship, wait, I'll show you, Let me, I'll show you. Let's head back over here. All right, so if you wanna use a hierarchy in Power BI, if you click the top level, you see I click the top level right there, and it automatically adds on the axis the entire hierarchy. If I add total reseller sales, now I can see, right, I can drill. So it's a predefined drill pad, so if I click 2012, it goes down the quarter. If I click 2000, uh, quarter three, it goes down to that quarter and then down into the day of the month. All right, it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty easy, it handles it for me. Um, there's some other options here for drill. And if you wanna know about drill, go read the documentation. I don't think I've done a video, maybe I'll do a video on it, all right? So that's nice, that's neat. But let's say I have my own date table and I wanna add my own type of hierarchy because I wanna include week or I don't want quarter or something like that in it. And you can manage all that here in the desktop. But let's say you have your own and you wanna use a single date table for all the reporting. So what you would do is go to your model view because I don't have a relationship between that table, reseller sales in my calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and create the relationship, bam. And now I can use my date table, but notice, look, the little calendar icon is gone. That's because when you establish a relationship between that date and the date table, Power BI knows it's smart and it turns off that implicit hierarchy because you wanna use a date table for all of your, you know, date, your time intelligence, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this column because we don't need it anymore and we don't want our end users to use it. And now I can go over to my calendar. And so right now I'm looking at reseller sales. I'm gonna go ahead and add you know, my internet sales to this, and now I can analyze this. So here, year, there you go. And if I want quarter, I can drag quarter there, and I can add month, and now I've created another type of implicit measure, right? That's not what I wanna do. I wanna remove the guesswork away from, so my end users don't have to think about this, just remove the guesswork. So they know I predefine those drill pads for them. I predefine that hierarchy, and they don't have to think about it. So what I'm gonna do is delete, 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 and all you need to do is start with the top level, right? The top level, if it was category, if it was CEO, whatever it is, you start at that level. So for me, it's year, I right click, say new hierarchy, right? And I'm gonna, I don't wanna call this year hierarchy, so I'm gonna rename this really quickly. Instead of year, let's just call it calendar, right? And then I can add other things to the hierarchy. So there's my calendar hierarchy, and so if I take quarter, and drop it right on there. There you go, there's quarter. Or I can click on the ellipsis next to the column and choose add to hierarchy and bam, there's my calendar hierarchy. And now if I click the top level, make sure that visual is selected. I click the top level, bam, there's my hierarchy and I can drill up and down, up and down. So great, it's so perfect, it's bananas, it just works. One more thing I wanna show you, right? Another reason I like to create these hierarchies is, I'm gonna go ahead and deselect these. So imagine this, right? I add this to the axis, yeah, year, 
There we go. So that that's there. And I want to drill. I decide, you know what, Patrick, I'm smarter than you. I don't want to use your hierarchies. I want to create my own implicit hierarchy. And so if I go over to product, right, let's just go to product and add category there. This is another reason I like to create the hierarchies. And then what you'll see is when I drill down on a particular year, you see all the values for my reseller sales is exactly the same. That's because a relationship doesn't exist between reseller sales and products. So but with a little bit, just a tiny bit of user education, right? And you going through the process of creating these hierarchies, you can help your end users avoid these types of mistakes when they build their Power BI reports. So instead of doing this, I would delete this, define the hierarchy, tell my end users, if you wanna do drill, use the hierarchies that I create so that you can ensure you don't run into these types of problems, okay? So what do you guys think? You got questions, comments, you know what to do. Post them in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.